This is old school drag racing. I've got four hot women who are out here kicking butt. We get up here to the starting line, this game on, it's a serious battle. We just hope to keep the momentum going. We know that ride's gonna end someday. Anytime you open that blue barrel of nitro methane, anything can happen. The race is in our blood. This is my 43rd year. I've raced ever since I've been a kid. You can't drive by sight, because if you drive by sight, you're too late. It's game on. I don't care who's in the other lane, it's all about winning that iron man. We're not giving up. It's gonna be uh, hard to hold. Our plan is to kick everybody's <laughs> Plans don't always happen. Anything can happen when the tree goes green. Welcome to the IHRA Nitro Jam. It has been a nitro-fueled season. Everything has led to right here. This is it, the World Finals at the Memphis International Raceway. But first, here's what you missed from the Northern Nationals. The energy in Martin is electric. Championship fever is on everyone's mind. With plenty cars not at the Martin event, a big treat for everyone at Martin. Top fuel. The crowd gets up on its feet when the Laganas roll into the beams. The battle in Mountain Motor Pro Stock is heating up between Kevin Bielko against the fastest qualifier in Martin, Scott Hintz. And Bielko gets his first Ironman of the year. It's a whole shot victory. To win a quarter mile race and do it against a quality guy, number one qualifier like Scott Heinz and his group, is tremendous. In Nitro Harleys, it's Randall Andras against Mike Pellerin. And Andras wins. You gotta have luck with this stuff. Nitro Alterts would find Ron Maroney against Kyle Hogue, and Maroney would cement his world championship. It was on a good, hard pass. I mean, it felt good when I left. You can usually tell you know, how it's running when it leaves and by, by half track, and it was running really good. Closing out Martin would be Marisha Falk up against Elaine Larson, and Marisha Falk finds herself back in the winner's circle. This one's for Dad, and uh, hopefully we can repeat it in Memphis. Excited again for another wonderful weekend with the IHRE. This is the finals, man. It's between me and that Canadian guy. There is plenty of excitement to be had as Jay Turner Racing is looking to tie up the top three spots. We'd, we'd love to have uh, one, two, three uh, at the end of the season. Right now, uh, Cox is ahead of uh, Jay by a few, so we got to get Jay to the final and uh, go from there. That's the plan. Uh, you know, uh, I've got to. I, I pretty much got to go to the final and probably win the race and hope Mark Cox goes out in the first round. I believe that's how that works. In Nitro Alterage, Ron Maroney stands alone. After the last race, we had enough points that nobody could pass us, even if we didn't show up to this race. Kind of like Jason, he'd sewn it up the race before. Wrapping it up early enabled us to, to do a little bit of testing I wanted to do. I had some new parts. I wanted to see how they work. When you're behind and you're trying to chase the guy who's ahead down, you, there's really nothing to lose. When you're ahead, uh, basically everyone's chasing you and they want to they wanna beat you, so you know, basically you have a big target on your back. But second place in Nitro Funny Car is hotly contested. Uh, we're sitting third place uh, in points. Uh, championship's already wrapped up, Rupert got it. Uh, we're right behind Mr. Explosive. So we could be matched up with him. Would that be great going down to the finals, Mr. Explosive? Kicks him in the yeah, yeah. And Bruce is uh, about fourth. He, he can play spoiler. I don't think he's anywhere near catching third place, but him and Boychuk, I think, got a pretty good dogfight going for fourth. So we're trying to hang on to that, too. And, you know, I don't think we can climb up anymore, but if we can stick in fourth, we should be happy with that. We should be here up there. We're basically in the middle of the pack uh, of, uh, of uh, the standings for the year. Uh, you know, we can. You know, we can end up fifth or sixth, either one. So, uh, so you know, it, 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 it is what it is. So it's, you know, we've, we've had a good time doing it. And, you know, we've definitely learned a lot. And, and now we are just trying to, you know, basically finish out the season on a high note. We're getting ready to burn some nitro. Let's do it today, huh? And what about Mountain Motor Pro Stock? We do have a, a shot at the championship, but we're going to have to have a little help from, uh, from some of our competitors. We need to qualify number one. Um, ideally, we, we need to set a record. And um, Gary is leading the points right now. Uh, we actually need him to stumble a little bit. And, um, you know, that's a lot to ask. You know, not to say it can't happen, but, you know, it's a lot to ask. But now, all John DeFloyan has to do here is would be win this race and set the record if we didn't show up. But if we show up and we'll make one round, then John can't, can't come around us at all. So. And that help may come. 
Kerry Goforth is trying to do the impossible, get a championship in PDRA and IHRA. IHRA tells me it's never happened before in pro stock ever, that somebody, anybody won two championships, two different sanctions in one year. But he should be here on the premises probably within an hour. And the plane gets carried to Memphis. You know, we had to run my Camaro at uh, Virginia to, uh, to solidify the uh, championship in PDRA. And uh, we get here and GXP won't start and it's having some trouble running. So I'm having to get in dad's car and uh, just take the bulb and then we're gonna come back and fix the GXP, see if we can figure out what's wrong with it. And uh, hopefully, since there's only seven cars here, uh, then I should be able to, hopefully we get it fixed and I should be able to hop back in there and, and it'll be like being back in, you know, being back in your old office again. So I've never drove a dad's car before, so uh, I gotta be careful not hit any walls. So uh, it's a little bit of a nerve wracking situation, but we'll make it. We're gonna do the same thing we've done all year. We're gonna work for it. We're gonna try to get it. When we return more from the Summit World Finals, this is the IHRA Nitro Jam. Like so many events this year, the Summit World Finals kicks off qualifying with the threat of rain. It doesn't look too promising right now. It's a challenge. It pushes some of the races into other races. We're finishing uh, Pittsburgh eliminations and qualifying tonight. We're here. If it takes till next Friday to run this thing, we're here. Rain's going to hold up. we will make it a good weekend. Really froggy out there. It's got a lot of bite in it right now. A lot of bite. We got up on the bar and kicked the front end up in there and started dripping to the left. I'm gonna have to go back and put a little rear steer in the car. Right at the top of second gear, light flickered and I grabbed second and uh, it just shook. Never count out John DeFlorian who set a record in San Antonio. I used to drive in the car. It's just, it's awkward. It's just all kinds of things got thrown at me at once. So. On top of having to get here at the last minute, so. The field out here is the quickest field there is. We're 82, 251. Not too bad. We're happy with that. We'll, we'll come back and tune it up. Even with Jason Rupert already sewing up the Funny Car Championship, you would never know it if you won. Five eighty-eight. Yeah, huh? The snake. High five, brother. Yeah. Right on, right on, that baby. Rock and roll. Right. You no, know, right now we're second points. I know the McIntyre car is a round ahead of us right now. He's got Bruce Litton. So uh, if I got to root for somebody, I'm rooting for Litton tonight. Bruce is my buddy today. Oh, went straight down there. Drove it a little bit. Felt good, clean. Ran an eighty-eight. Good. We're going on to the finals for Pittsburgh. I think we're sitting either two or three. Qualified for Memphis. We're happy. That's a great baseline. It's a good start for us. I haven't been in the car in uh, 10 weeks, so I'm pretty rusty right now. And Q1 of Nitro Harleys gets underway. Took off nice. Started heading to the center a little bit. Got her back around. Bring her out next time and go for it. Yeah, I'm pumped up, amped up, and the bike is geared up. It was going fast enough, I turned off. Yeah, I felt getting loose on the bike, you know what I mean? But I bet the short numbers are good. And in Q1, we still ask, are Nitro Alter drivers crazy? It takes a different breed to drive a fuel alter. A little soft, but we'll go back and see if we can't step it up a bit. Drove 
the center line, shook a little bit, pedaled it, got back in it, and uh, finished the run. Probably wasn't the ET we were looking for, but it get us in the show for tomorrow morning. It left good, it carried the wheels out there and it trucked it down through there. I shut it off a little bit early. We'll go back and look at the tune up on it and uh, make some adjustments for uh, next qualifying run here in an hour and a half or so. Let's finish out Q1 with the Jets. I don't know what happened. Like I thought all three of them went, but I guess not. All I know is I got red, so did Elaine. As soon as I went, Kat got a little edge on me, but we got her lit and caught back up with her by the end, I think. As with so many events this year, the third racer is setting to line up the weather. The wind's picking up, and once the wind picks up, sometimes the rain follows, and we sure, sure hope it doesn't. But there's nothing we can do about it. Sit there and hold on and see what happens. All right, racers, with the moisture coming in this evening, tonight's continuation of activities have been canceled. The day is done. We are finished. We are in the bus. It's late. They just called the race tonight. What do you do? I guess you just come back for another day, which will be uh, maybe 24 hours, 12 hours from now, won't it? When we return more from the Summit World Finals, this is the IHRA Nitro Jam. And day two finds the weather still being uncooperative. So again, on hold for a moment or three while we wait for Mother Nature to do her thing. Word came from the far end of the racetrack. We had some driplets down at the other end. Even with the rain, there is still racing to be had. What race in Memphis would be complete without the king? Are we ready? I think so. Set, let's go! <laughs> John got it. John is the man. We'll see you on the next rain out. The thread that ties us all together has seemed to be tying our hands here at the World Finals, and that is rain. It doesn't look promising for today. We're keeping our fingers crossed that, you know, we get a run today. Even though we've, we've got the World Championship, we want to win this race as well. We're racers, you know, we're here to race, we're here to win. With the rain continuing, the decision is made. Since the Nitro Altrads have been tied up by Ron Maroney, their season is over, and the Summit World Finals would move to a third day. We are going to just basically press pause, bring you back tomorrow and get you down the racetrack for your second and final qualifying session and then uh, move ourselves into the world finals portion of the program. That's, uh, that's if everything goes well tomorrow. Clay Milliken has assured me that it will. What are you going to do? You know, it's Mother Nature. That's one of those things where we can't control, you know. We hate it. Because believe it or not, the conditions are actually really, really good. We, we could see some really great numbers out there right now. But, you know, that little bit of rain that we got, which is very little, but it's enough to make the track wet. And, you know, they're working hard to try to get it dry, but, you know, it's hard to do that in days like today, you know. So it's a shame. I think there would have been something pretty exciting for the people up there. And I think we could have seen some pretty spectacular numbers out there today, actually. I know we were loaded for bear. I definitely know that the uh, Go Force are loaded for bear, too, because we're all looking at the same thing. I think it sucks. <laughs> We'll pray for no rain tomorrow, I guess, huh? You know, there's nothing you can do about it. It's hard on the crew, and it's hard on the parts, and it's hard on, it's just hard, it's hard on everybody. It's hard on the spectators. You know, we've been promised there's always a better day coming, and there will be a better day coming. When we return more from the Summit World Finals, this is the IHRA Nitro Jam. The rain's gone, the sun's out, it's world final time. If we get some data, I think we can come back for first round. We can make something happen. Might be a little bit light right now, but I think we can get there. Next up, Dean Goforth tries his hand. I did all right. I got the gears. I just didn't get them when I should have. <laughs> Black Diamond Motorsports, Kevin Bioko and John DeFlorian run it out. Yes! It's been a long time since we finally got into that spot. Hallelujah. That makes a big difference. It really does. How would the Nitro Harleys fare?
you know, we struggled the other night qualifying and uh, today to come out and run a 44 and get up in the first half of the field, hope we can stay there. Jay Turner's 635 means he's on the right track. So made a last minute adjustment up on the starting line, pulled some fuel out of it, and uh, he made a good run. I was happy with it. Yeah! What a day! Two months and three days of wait. Let's see how Nitro Funny Cars Bruce Linton and Jason Rupert handle the track. Rupert smokes the tires. Jason Rupert's going to need to buy some stock in Tylenol after that ride. It shook so bad. Feel pretty good about that run. That's a good run. Let's see what these guys do behind us, but uh, hopefully they'll stand up for number one. Mike McIntyre continues his chase of Mr. Explosive. and his 588 pass gives him the victory for Pittsburgh. 588, you beat Peter Gallon. You beat Peter Gallon. The Pittsburgh final, you know, it helps us with the points. It should almost seal the deal for second over Sanders. So we'll see what happens, what the rest of eliminations. We got Sanders first round. So uh, we'll take care of business, hopefully. up on a single there and uh, it didn't make it. That's a lap right there. Them boys are ready. You know what? We're gonna have a black diamond card in the final. And uh, that's what we're here for. The final race the fi of the season. So, you know, we get one of these black diamond cards in the final. Hopefully they can get it done. Whoever might be with us, Kevin or myself. So, uh, we're excited. We're excited. It's still nice out, no rain, hallelujah. Thank God for holding up the rain today so when we can finish the deal. I can taste the world championship. And you went red. Yeah, Elvis is in the house. World champion! Woo! Step in the right direction for sure, realizing that we have tough co competition, you know, going in the semifinal with, uh, I think we have Jay, I think. We got our mess together the last race of the year. We're all three bikes in. We started strong. We got a little weak in the middle, but we're going to finish strong. Ah, 83 to an 84. <laughs> you did it. I can't even believe it. <laughs> I always shake when I get out of the car. It blew up about a thousand foot. I think it kicked the rods out, so we got work to do. We'll have to change motors, but we'll be back. We'll be ready. How's this for a pair? Both Mr. Explosive and Mike McIntyre looking for that number two spot. Five seventy three, two fifty four, world record. You got to back up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that old was cleaning it out. I'm telling you what.
time, but you know, I've really raised the postdoc in a quarter mile this, this season. And uh, I really want to thank the IHRA for giving us a place to race over here. We're just loving it. There's nothing like sticking these big uh, motors in fifth gear and just letting them hum down through that quarter mile. It's just unbelievable. Totally unexpected red light right there. That could be the championship. Nitro Harleys, you never know what you're going to get. That's what makes this class so exciting. Had a good year, really. You know, I'm uh, not, not sure how the points are going to fall out, but I hope we stay three. Explosive, definitely being explosive. 252 mile an hour, new IHRA national record. Going to be a great final round. The race that refuses to end the final round IHRA Mountain Motor Pro Stock. You know, that's part of racing. I mean, you're going to run light now, and if you're trying hard enough, that's going to happen. So. So now we have two trophies, and before Rockingham, I'd never even seen one. You know, I've never even held one, so wow. we're pretty excited about the whole thing. Only one person stands between Jay Turner and an Iron Man. It's his teammate, Randall Andros. It was a good effort, great race. Too bad it took three or four days, however many it was, to get it done, but hot damn, got one this year, finally. Final for Nitro Funny Car, Mr. Explosive Mark Sanders against Peter Gallon. Well, we came to the World Finals there and uh, got runner up. Somebody had to do it, right? The weekend's been pretty difficult. My uh, car chief, his father, passed. This is to uh, John Manini Sr. I dedicate this trophy to him because uh, he's already upstairs helping. Final round, World Finals, we finally got it in. It was a marathon, but we got it done.